So what's up everybody, this is uh, video 3 of the series, um, making a standard death XXO type rip, uh, not rip, conversion, this is all about conversion video, um, we're going to convert it to a playable file of course, um, this is technically HD, but I like to think of a standard definition in the, uh, video world, uh, digital video world, because, I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's viewable. Um, now, not to hate on, uh, these kinds of rips, because they're actually the most popular, and I do have quite a bit of them. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it now, and stop rambling on. Okay, so, like in the first video, we ripped our file, and you should have, you know, your three files here. One is a stream information other is IFO and the one last one here is a VOB file now go ahead and open up auto Gordian not auto GK um, for short and uh, it's free you know download and saw it links in the sidebar um, and just go ahead and saw it and open it up here now we're gonna have to step one uh, select input and output file input file Go ahead and browse to where you ripped your DVD. Alright, and choose, what is it? I believe it's the IFO file. Yeah, choose your IFO file. I was getting between, getting confused between the IFO and the VOB and handbrake. If you don't understand what I'm saying, just keep moving on. Choose the IFO file. Output file, now this is where you wish to save your uh, converted video. I'm going to choose my home folder. What the hell? Uh, oops. Oh, the file name. I'll name it D because I don't feel like typing. And click save. Choose where you want to save it. Name it and click save. All right. Step two: select audio track and subtitle track. Now, subtitles. If you want them, you can have them. For me personally, I don't give a crap. I don't like subtitles. For audio tracks, uh try to choose only the language you want just choose one because uh, the more you select it's like a bigger file size so I'm just gonna choose English okay step three select output size now uh, if you want to do your typical 700 megabyte rip yeah, you can choose it from the drop down 700 megabyte and that's gonna give you you know your AXXO quality it's gonna be good quality viewable uh, technically HD but like I said, I like to think of it as standard definition in the digital video world. I shouldn't have said that. I'm rambling on here. Um, so you use 700 megabyte, and that and that's good for typically, uh, you know, your. Um, sorry about that. Your your uh, hour long, hour 20, 30 minute videos. If you if you have a video larger than that, you're gonna want to go with 1,400 megabytes, or your quality is just gonna get real crappy. All right. Now, that's really all there is to that. Um, and step four is advanced. Uh, the codec. What the hell? Oh, uh, I guess I didn't install DivX. Oh well, we're doing XFID anyways. <laughs> I just wanted, felt like clicking on it. For your codec, choose XFID. Output resolution, choose auto. If you want, you can change it to seven. Where is it? At? Seven twenty. Oh, you can't type. You have to use the arrows. Seven twenty, which is HD. I just choose auto width because it's typically good size quality ratio kind of thing. For your auto type, choose CBR if you want good quality. If you don't really care about your audio, you can go with auto. But I like my good quality audio, so I'm going to choose CBR, constant bit rate, and 192. Okay, you can't type in this one either. <laughs> uh, 192 uh, kick bits. Okay, and choose OK. Now, all you do is click Add Job and then Start. But I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. This is just a demonstration. So, this is the end of the series. If you didn't see the other ones, go ahead and go back and watch them. Um, or if you don't, don't. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much it. Good luck in coding. And uh hope I taught you some good stuff.